Okay, take some time to settle in. The wind is blowing outside, and again, and that's a symbol for the ways of the world. There's gain and there's loss. There's status, loss of status, praise and criticism, pleasure and pain. That's pretty much what the world has to offer. And our minds are like huge sails, ready to catch whatever wind comes our way, because we're hoping for the good winds. But once the sail is up, it can catch bad winds as well. So take the sails down. Try to be right here. It has nothing to do with gain or loss status or loss of status. It's just you and your breath, your awareness and the breath. Get settled in right here so you don't get blown around. And then you can see when the wind is calm enough that you can put up your sails and go in the right direction and learn from whatever wind there is, east, west, north, south, northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast. In other words, there are good things to learn, even from loss, even from loss of status, from criticism and pain. Even though we don't like these things, they have their lessons. And if we learn them well, then we can live in any place and not be put in danger. So when you look at the ways of the world, you look at the news of the world, and it's always greed, aversion, delusion. And that's really not new. What would be new would be someone who's free of those things. And the extent to which you can wash those things out of your mind. That's your gift to the world. You can give a lot better back than they give to you. So always think about that. It's not the matter of what you're getting from the world, because the world doesn't have much to offer. It's not all that reliable. As John Lee said, the things of the world, if they're true, they're not good. If they're good, they're not true. And as long as you're hoping to get your happiness from the world outside, you're putting yourself in a bad position. But if you remind yourself, goodness is something you can generate from within, and you can keep on generating it. We meditate so that we can give the mind some strength so it can keep on doing that and not feel worn out and not feel depleted. In other words, we feed the mind with a sense of rapture, a sense of pleasure that comes when it settles in and is really solidly unified right here. That's the source of our strength.